Arsenal news today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight into it. We got a lot to discuss. First things first, I'm going to do Anana's not coming to Arsenal. He's going somewhere else. He's joined another Premier League club. We got to talk about it. Plus, what's going on with Calafuri? We got to talk about it. Is financial fair play affecting Arsenal? We got to talk about it. All this plus more on today's video. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. We're going to go through the Arsenal news with you live. Not today. Upload. I got you guys. I'll try to get you guys these videos as much as I can. But what I need from you guys is leave a question down below or answer any of my questions throughout the video. There's going to be timestamps. There's going to be everything. But I need you guys to hit that like button right now. Let's get this show started, ladies and gentlemen. Eagle Arsenal news update. You already know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into it. So where do we begin? Where do we begin? We're going to begin with Amadou Onana. Did you guys even want Amadou Onana at Arsenal? Because I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was really intrigued by the Amadou Onana potential situation. But Aston Villa have snagged Amadou Onana for 50 million pounds. Yes, Amadou Onana, Fabrizio Romano has given the here we go as a 50 million pound bid has been accepted plus a sell-on clause in addition to the 50 million pound bid. Uh, formal proposal accepted a five-year deal to Aston Villa as Amadou Onana is expected to have his medical very soon and to be signing as an Aston Villa player very, very soon. This is a good signing for Aston Villa. And this also means Arsenal have something else down their sleeve. Arsenal have another rabbit up the hat. Amadou Onana is not going to be joining Arsenal. Most likely, Thomas Partey might be staying for another year. Are you guys happy about that, that Thomas Partey is going to be staying for another year? And are you upset that Amadou Onana did not sign for Arsenal Football Club? Barcelona also considered Amadou Onana as Barcelona were looking at him. There, uh, of course, David Onsen originally reported on this. As I can show you guys, David Onsen's ori original report, he said that Aston Villa have finalized an agreement with Everton over Amadou Onana worth around 50 million personal terms in place. Long-term contract for the 22-year-old Everton midfielder. He's been a target of Unai Emery's and Keane uh, to play for the Spaniard. So it looks like Aston Villa have gotten their guy. Aston Villa have gotten their man. And what does that mean for Arsenal? What does that mean for us? What does that mean in our search for other players? What does that mean? Genuinely. I'm just asking because I'm a little bit trying to figure out what's going on now. Because we still need a midfielder. We still need a midfielder, ladies and gentlemen. And that midfielder could potentially be Mikel Moreno. Yes, Mikel Moreno, who's still currently playing for Spain. Team News Ticks has said that Arsenal are interested in Mikel Moreno. There's been numerous reports coming out that Arsenal are interested in Mikel, Mikel Moreno. Mikel Moreno is available for around £30 million. We have to wait and see if more comes out on this case right here. But at this moment in time, we are interested in Mikel Moreno. We are waiting for more information on Mikel Moreno. Nothing at the moment. Nothing at the moment. We already spoke yesterday about Lokonga and Tavares heading out. But with the news of Amadou Onana, that means Thomas Partey will most likely stay for another season, potentially, unless we find somebody to, to buy him. Because at this moment in time, nobody seems that interested in purchasing him at the moment in time. But you know what? Going to another midfielder, as Arsenal are still interested in uh, Bruno G, uh, Team News Ticks on Twitter said... It would be a surprise if Arsenal went back in for Bruno, Bruno G later in the window, as he is basically saying that Arsenal might be out of the Bruno G business at this moment in time. Bruno Gamares, if you guys don't know, had a hundred million pound release clause that expired on the 21st of June. Nobody triggered it. And at this moment in time, it would be a surprise if Arsenal went back in for Bruno G. That is a revelation that I didn't really think about yet because I didn't. I thought once Bruno G, uh, his release clause was, wasn't triggered. I thought that was pretty much it. I didn't see anything about that anymore. Now, now this one here, 
I am not excited about at all. Nobody wants this guy at Arsenal. Joao Felix. Does anybody want Joao Felix? Keep this guy away from Arsenal. Our, uh, a Premier League side, uh, their uh, uh, Benfica who inquired, but the rights now, much moves in the situation awaits for Felix. All I know is that there's reports that Joao Felix could be joining a Premier League side, and I don't want him to anywhere near my football club. I don't want Joao Felix anywhere near my football club. Keep that guy miles, feet. Keep him away. I don't need him. Keep him away, far away as possible. I don't want nothing to do with him. He's an absolute fraud. Let's be honest. He's a fraud. We don't want nothing to do with that guy. He's a fraud. An absolute fraud. In other news, Arsenal also linked to a, 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 a left back, or if I'm not mistaken, is he a left back or a right back? Which one is he? I need to double check. But he is he is a fallback, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just make sure I'm giving you guys the correct information. I don't want to give you guys false information. Oh, I am wrong. He's actually a winger. He's a left winger, French, under, under 23, 19-year-old, Desari. Do we? That's how you pronounce his name? Let's see. How you pronounce this guy's name? Desiree Dowie. Desiree Dowie. I don't know anything about Desiree Dowie. I've never heard of this guy. But apparently he's a young player. We could be potentially adding him to the rankings to get him into the academy. Um, Chelsea are also interested in him. I wouldn't read too much into this news at this moment in time. That is that is a whole lot of nothing at this moment in time. So I wouldn't go too crazy about that news right there. But there is some news on Calafuri and there is some news on the Arsenal situation. So let's get straight into some of these Fabrizio Romano updates, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, do me a favor. If you haven't liked the video at this point of the video, please do like the video. It helps out the channel massively. Arteta and Arsenal transfer plans. It is very difficult summer. Uh, everything is a bit slow. The market and the rules in place have made clubs more aware. It is a bit more difficult to do business. We have to adapt and we are still want to de deliver and improve. This is coming from Mikel Arteta on Arsenal's transfer plans. About three hours ago, speaking about how the market has become a little bit more difficult and you have to navigate it a little bit more strategically, especially with the financial fair play rulings and everything around financial fair play just being a little bit more difficult. Edu and Arteta understand that they have to be a little bit more frugal or a little bit more smart with their planning. Hence why we gave uh, David Raya a one-year loan with an option to buy instead of just signing him out last year because that one year gave us a little bit more financial flexibility in, 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 in our situation. Um, update on Ricardo Pereira about five hours ago. I am really, 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 really getting sick and tired of the, the Ricardo Calafuri updates. At this moment in time, I just want this deal to be done or to not happen, one or the other, because uh, preferably for it to get done and to happen for Arsenal. But we're just going to keep hearing updates every two days until, until it actually happens. As it seems, Ricardo Calafuri is waiting for Arsenal and has only, and Arsenal is his only priority. The club remains in talks over a fee slash structure. It just seems that 50% sell-on clause to Basel has really made Arsenal's situation in buying the player a little bit more difficult. And we now have a little situation where we keep arguing over that potential situation there. Um, you even have people on Sky Sports talking about it and saying that Bologna want 50 million plus bonuses and Arsenal a little bit less in their offer and only it's... Uh, in his mind, it's only Arsenal. Even Chelsea tried to get him. Arsenal are considered the perfect step in his career. Interesting, interesting, interesting. As you guys can see, uh, more stuff on this. But yeah, let's get to AFC stuff. Let's see what he's saying. He's talking about some Arsenal Academy players. Nothing special there. Leandro Trussard's wife on Instagram enjoying the vacation. That's beautiful. Uh, Mikel Arteta speaking about the transfer window. We already spoke about that. We already spoke about Bruno Gamarej. We, we spoke about Mikel Arteta's interview yesterday. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's on the Arsenal website. Please do check it out. It's a good interview. He does say some good things. As as uh, he's saying, the sh mentality is shifting in the Arsenal team. To win. Do you see that now? And do you see that developing year on year? For sure. And we've done it uh, 
across the club, I think in every department, uh, not only on the football side uh, or the first team, men's first team, but uh, when you look at, at our academy, at the women's performances, uh, the men's first team, the environment that we have created, uh, our supporters, is different. It's a different hunger. It's a different. 100% the mentality has slightly shifted and it's a different type of hunger. We're hungry for the league more than ever. We're not just looking for top four no more. Uh, Mikel Arteta also speaking about next season, wanting to push on and looking uh, at the first uh, obvious last game, Everton, there is the last 20 to 30 minutes in the game. I think we still uh, could win the league in the Premier League. We didn't. The pain still there. I uh, I think it. Uh, oh, he went in de detail. I'm not even gonna read all that. You guys can go check out Mikel Arteta's press conference where he went all in. Alexis Sanchez speaking about joining Arsenal and saying he wanted to cancel his contract and go back. <laughs> language, but yeah, Alexis Sanchez, as you guys can, as you guys can see, once a gooner, always a gooner. Still wearing his Arsenal kits uh, on a regular basis. And then that's pretty much it. Nothing else, really, guys. I've gone through everything. Of course, we spoke about Mikel Moreno. We spoke about Victor Jokerez's price tag getting dropped on the previous video. As of right now, nothing more to be speaking about. This is just a quick little Arsenal news update to tell you guys, of course, about Amru Anana. Are you guys annoyed that we missed out on the Amru Anana uh, signing? What do you guys think about the whole Calafiri situation? Are you annoyed? Do you just want the deal over the line? What do you think about the whole situation? And overall, how are you guys feeling at this moment in time in the transfer window as Arsenal have not signed a single player in the first team? And we're currently in the 13th of July. If you want to count David Rea, you can count him as the first signing then. But yeah, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of here. Hopefully you, you guys enjoy the Saturday and hopefully you guys enjoy the Euros final. I'll probably speak to you guys after the Euros final. For now, I bid you guys adieu. Peace, ladies and gentlemen. Catch you guys on the next side.